In this video I'll explain how to join a lesson on Microsoft Teams. To do this you'll need your CNS username and password. You'll need a device with either Teams installed or a browser to access Microsoft Teams. So I have on the right hand side my step-by-step -step instructions. On the left hand side I have a web browser. I'm going to go to this website cloud.cns-school.org and once I go onto that page I just click on student login and I'm going to need to sign in using my CNS uh, account. So for me, I'm just using a, a, a demonstration account here. Um, but yours is likely to be something along the lines of firstname.surname at cns-school.org. And then I'm going to click on next. It will take me to a page where I need to type in my password. Click sign in. And it will open this page. So next I'm going to click onto my timetable. Go to my timetable and this will bring up my timetable. Now this is just a demo account so it's just got a few lessons on here but yours will be full. I'm going to click on a lesson and what this is going to do is going to open Microsoft Teams either as an app or in the web browser. So I'm going to click on my, the, my English lesson just here. Now I have a choice. I can open the program uh, which is what I'm going to do in this situation, in which case I would type in my same username and password as before, click on sign in, type in the same password as before, and that will allow me to sign in, and it may take a moment. And then Microsoft Teams will open. And you can see here, I've got my meeting, my lesson. So I'm going to click onto there. Uh, I'm going to click onto my lesson. And I'm going to click join. And once I click on join, I can turn my camera on. Oops, camera's not set up right. So I'm just going to click on the device settings. Camera, there, there I am. I'm going to choose the microphone that I need, I'm going to choose the speakers that I need, and actually I'd like to blur my background because I don't want to see people to see the privacy, so I can just blur my background, I've almost blurred my face, I'm going to put a nice background on. You can choose one that you uh, that you want, so you've got an anonymity, and I click on join now, and that will enable me to join that meeting. Here I am in the meeting. Now at the moment I'm the only person in this meeting, but there would be other students and obviously your teacher within that meeting as well. There are a couple of things to bear in mind. I can use the hands up facility just here. I could raise my hands and you can see it's just put a little notification to say that I've got my hand up. So your teacher knows you want to ask a question. I could put myself on mute. I could turn my camera off. And I could use the chat facility, show conversation, to add any notes. And I could just ask a question that way. So those are the main facilities that you want to use there. But it might be that you don't want to use the app. It might be that instead, when I come back to this, you want to use the web app through a browser. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Here's my timetable. Click on my timetable. And instead of opening the um, app, I'm going to use the web app this time. And you can see, it looks very similar. Here's my meeting. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to allow it to access the things that I need. Make sure it's set to the right facilities. Change my microphone. Oops. Change my speakers, etc. And the web app works in the same way. So I'll be able to join my meeting. Mm -hmm. I'm the only person here at the moment. I can go into mute. I can turn my camera off. I can put my hand up or lower my hands, and at the end of the lesson I can hang up as well. So that's two ways to join a lesson Microsoft Teams, one using the app and one using the web browser. If you get stuck, if you need to get in touch with us, if you email the school or give the school a call, we'll be able to help to make sure that you can get online so you can join the lessons as you need to.